Hello, can I help you? No, thank you. I just... Yes? I just wanted to meet the woman who helped raise my daughter. Emily. Yes, I'm Emily Gilmore. I've wanted to meet you two for a very long time. Well, that's nice. Would you like to sit down or have something to eat? Have lunch with me, won't you? No, thank you. You have a lovely place here. It's a beautiful hotel. Not a home, but still a beautiful hotel. Sometimes home is where your hat is. Oh, where your family is. Yes, that too. You sure you don't want some tea? Tea usually makes things like this a little less awkward. There's things to hold and stir. I don't know why I came here. You wanted to meet me. After all these years, it makes no sense. I expected you to come eventually. Did you? Mm-hmm. And what did you expect to say to me when I did come? When Laura and I showed up on my porch that day with a tiny baby in her arms, I thought to myself, what if this were my daughter? And she was cold and scared and needed a place to live. What would I want for her? And then I thought I'd want her to find somebody to take her in and make her safe and help her find her way. That's funny. I would have wanted her to find someone who would send her home. I have to go. I'd appreciate if you didn't mention this to Lorelai. I won't. Do you have pictures from back then? I'll send you a box full tomorrow. Thank you. Not really necessary. Going after Jason like this. I didn't know you were a fan of Jason's. I'm not. I'm just concerned. What are you concerned about, Emily? It took us a long time to get Lorelai back into this house. And she is dating Jason. What are you saying? I worry that if you do this, you'll drive Lorelai away again. And if she goes, Rory might go. She lied to us. To you. To me. I am very well aware of what she did. The last time I checked, you didn't care for being lied to. Don't be condescending. I don't like being lied to. We can't control what Lorelai will do. Rory won't go away. I'm doing what I have to do. This fabric is just horrible. It has to go. It all has to go. Mom, you can't replace the fabric. Mom, you can't replace the fabric. Mom, you can't buy a plane. It's a timeshare. You have to share it with three other people. Then I'll buy the whole damn plane myself. Okay, sorry. You know what? I am tired of all this. I am tired of your attitude toward me. You look at me as a thing of amusement. I don't. Something to be pitied, to feel sorry for. Poor out-of-touch Emily. She has nothing. She lives to organize parties and frivolous affairs. Who would want to do that to be that? Mom, I've never thought that. If I want a plane, I'll buy a plane. Okay, good. Go for it. It's my fault that Rory dropped out of Yale. It's my fault that she didn't go back. It's my fault that she's with Logan. It's my fault that she's not happy. It's my fault. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. That's right. It's not my fault. I did nothing but take care of her. I bought her clothes. I got her a job. I guided her. I threw parties for her and introduced her to new people, new things. And she just... The way she talked to me, you would have been very proud. No. Oh, yes. She looked at me just like you used to, with that defiant, who are you to be telling me what to do sort of look. Then she left, packed her things, moved out when I wasn't even there to see her go. No thank you, no goodbye. You would have been very, very proud. Mom. Just let me buy my plane, Lorelei. Let me be frivolous and shallow, won't you please? Okay. It's not the same, Mom, what happened with Rory. It's not the same. I lost her like I lost you feels remarkably similar to me. You didn't lose her like you lost me. She was never supposed to be there in the first place. She was always supposed to be at school. She just went back where she belonged. And you didn't lose me. Mia, shall Howard, we? Howard. This is Emily Gilmore, the mother and grandmother of the famous Lorelei and Rory. Hi. Nice to meet you. How do you do? I thought you weren't supposed to see the bride in her gown before you got married. Oh. Uh, you are exactly as Mia described you. You both are. And believe me, she described you a lot. Well, I hope she left out the bad stuff. There's no bad <laughs> stuff. Lucky you. <laughs> Thank you. Mia adores them. Yes, I know. <laughs> Well, come in, find a seat. Ow! 
great. It is great. Um, uh, Mom, this is uh, Donna, and this is my mother, Emily Gilmore. How do you do? Really well, thank you. Donna and I were maids together at the Independence Inn. A few hundred lives ago, huh? Hey, listen, your toast was so great. Thanks. I didn't know I was going to be the only one. <laughs> oh, but you were the perfect choice. I mean, for God's sake, Mia was like a mother to you. Um, so, how are you? You look good. I do, don't I? Yeah. I tell you, six years ago, got your movie. Come on, don't you like that? Hey, get some little Debbie. Seriously, Rory, I can't stay. Too late, Grandma. I'm already getting you a little Debbie. Oh, I bought her a suit. Did you? Yeah, it was so fun. It was weird, you know, but um, we found something really great, and it uh, just felt like a, a rite of passage. I'm sure. Made me imagine, you know, what it's gonna be like after she leaves. Of course. It's gonna be hard to be without her. Well, I'm sure you'll get through it. What I mean to say is, Mom, I know that it was hard for you. Hmm. Huh.